I think we got everything we wanted from the policies, basically. And I do need to stop using my influence so much. Look like we want to go with to war with anyone. Yeah, see this. Uh, I don't know what it is, but since the uh, well, the release patch and the patch like uh, one point eight or nine, what was it? Yeah, it tends to vote in the policies that uh, decrease loyalty in towns by a shitload. And well, you see the results. Rebelled, rebelled. This rebelled, this rebelled as well. This No, this is the one they had. This rebelled and they switched over to this. This rebelled. It's apparently Batanian now. You know, that's what I mean like this. I do have one idea. Let's see if this can work, actually. I think I do have enough money to persuade. He looks so sad. Let's we'll see if we can just cheese the game like this. Hmm. Apparently we can. Critical fail. Maybe not. I think that's this. Yeah. I'm not gonna persuade her. That's her own town. And they lost strength. But we are giving them money. Let's get rid of that. Let's stop giving them money. Funding their war efforts. There was an army nearby, where the hell are they? I'm gonna pick some of them up just in case. There might be a big one coming our way. Northern Imperium. You know what? Batania can ha have fun with our allies. Or with the rest of us, I'm going, uh, oh. Shit. Never mind. And these guys are so dumb, they are actually going for us this way, instead of going capturing the north. course. Now we're gonna get pincered by a shitload of armies. But they do have 4,000 people on, or men on the field. I 
the question where the fuck are Where are they going? I mean, they have it in for this. Anybody else? How about you, Southern Empire? Do you want to declare war as well? Well, this... this maybe a bit shit. Especially since I don't know where the fuck the other guys went. The city instantly rebelled. Ah, oh, look at this. Where are you off to, bitch? Literally, where, where is he off to? He's going through all the land to besiege my thing. Yeah, but no. It, it feels like the game punishes you whenever you do, like, declare war on someone. But you shouldn't have to. Shouldn't. Sh shouldn't. Sh should not have done. It's literally just me to. Screw you, player, just so you know. I'll declare, everyone will declare a war on you now. Come on, you just surely can one, kill one of those, right? Now, well, what am I doing? I'm killing the guys that had nothing and apparently stole one of the castles from the surgeons. The Northern Empire of this. I'm gonna try and provoke them to come off the hill over there. Move. Did we kill then? I don't know, I got declared war on by four factions, I'm not sure. I declare war on one, then another two, th three join. So we'll see. Probably gonna be on the defensive, we might even lose something. Um, I can just abuse the um, you know, diplomacy mod and get peace with some of them, even. here we're 
getting zero kills. Our horse archers. Maybe I should um, be a little bit more careful so I don't get lanced. Okay, looks like we got their attention. Attention. Now, since we are going to be fighting four factions, I might need to cheese the game a little bit and restart the battle a few times. We're going to need most of our troops to stay alive. So there is a ton more shit coming at us. Why are you so fast? Okay, that was almost a bad idea. And we're starting to starting to run out of ammunition. Here old. Well Bragdoll mechanics are really funny in this game. Thousand troops. We killed five hundred, thousand a hundred, something somewhere around there. Never mind. They have a little bit more. All right. This guy like ignored everything and was going for one of my towns because, of course, anti-player bias and all that. And they got really good position here, like they're in the fucking hill.
All right, I didn't... Ah, that's another problem. Should have probably told the infantry to not fire at them. We lose all our pilum from, because of some skirmishers. Get their attention, attention, get out of the way. In front of the enemy. Let's maybe I'll stay here. Well, democracy, I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot of people who don't even want to try mods for some reason. Which I'm, you know, always surprised by. Vanilla is just awful. Hail to you, brother of war! Thanks for the follow, by the way. Also, like, not to you know hate on the guy, but like, I mean, I do like to hit point in if you maybe watched him at some point. He's the guy for the any warband mod guide or tutorial tips and tricks. But he just keeps restarting campaigns all the fucking time, and he never really gets anywhere in them because it literally just starts a new campaign whenever a save is incompatible. That's annoying. Okay, they got reinforcements in already. On our ass. Or not. Wait. Yes, on our ass. And plus, it's not really fun watching me destroy the AI, right? I'm too good at the game. And not even sit there and blacksmith for a million years. Like everyone else does. Or trade or make workshops. I don't bother with any of that. Soldier! Soldier! 
Maybe I should block. Hit point in. I'm probably seeing him on, you on Twitch. We have enough not on YouTube. Then again, he does really like to get into the role playing and everything, every other aspect of the game, which is not really for me. You know, having kids, a wife, and all that. Connecting to your companions. Time to charge their slingers. No, not infantry. I can give you the link if you need. He's some play playing some other games, but he mainly plays Mountain Blade, primarily. Then he does stream leg regularly, unlike me. Was a nice slaughter and a good KD. Ooh, 13 kills. But we are at capacity. With companions. I think at least. Even though I don't think there's any like downsides from having more companions than you can actually. Here's your guy if you want like a really slow like RPG like experience or play through in this. I'm the one that does this as fast as possible. Okay, so yeah, we're at war with one, yeah, four factions. We just need the Southern Empire to declare war on us, and we're good. Kill them. Now we already smashed the Northern Empire and we can apparently piece them out and give them money, which makes sense. Even though we just wiped them all out, basically. Their strength is at 4,000, which they only have one castle. How the fuck is that possible? As slow as possible, but consistently restarting. Well, I guess he won't uh, restart as mu as much now because, like you know, before the full release of the game, you a patch comes out every month basically, and you have to restart the campaign if you don't lock it to a certain version. But like you know, he really goes in depth. Like he knows shit. I like I would never figure out half the shit in Warband if I didn't watch his videos, or his guides. That's what I mean, like he, you know, methodically goes in and finds all the nooks and crannies and how everything works in games. And really gets into it, immerses himself, I should say. I mean, the piecing out the Nord Empire is not going to do anything. Piecing out Batanians, however. It will do something. Oh, Gauls. 
know that why uh, we could actually stay at war. I could just hmm, I have an idea. If I can get there, that is. Without getting destroyed along the way. I forget which one of these is better. Uh, for the, like it matters. In theory, if we can get to their castle over there and siege it out, we could piece out the faction and destroy all of their holdings ag again for a second time. Really, game? The OG Scythians declare war on... Wait, no. What? Who the fuck? What? Yeah, the OG Scythians declare war on us. Well, that's lovely. I only wish someone made a mod that actually like disbands the whole faction once, you know, they die. Get destroyed or have no land. Cause this get this gets pretty fucking annoying pretty quick. Plus the, you know, the fact that Northern Empire just, you know, has an army of a thousand men just out of thin air. What the fuck is bankrolling them? Remember there was a such mod? Really? Uh, maybe I should look it up actually. Who knows? Maybe there is. Only problem with like, you know, mods being uploaded to Steam Workshop. I don't really look at Steam Workshop at all. Only 400 defenders, eh? That's a Nexus. I should look into it then look into it then I hope to god it's updated because it's a must. Because the Northern Empire and the Scythians are destroyed for like No. I'm not sure how long are we playing this in game days. For like five hundred days at least. Parley, we are not pirates. How the fuck are they all building us? Key walls are broken. Let's get rid of the ballistic. Now let's see if I have control over my own units in a siege battle. Probably not. Yeah, for some reason the game just keeps taking control of, of my units during a siege battle. Yeah, look at that. I need to like delete all the files. The Rome 2 told world music. Yeah, Rome 1 and Rome 2. Get 
up there before I fucking die. This is how sieges are done, man. Let me go up here. Make the jump. Get in here. Get shot in the face. Got it. That's too many of them. Oh, for fuck. There's a, of course there's an invisible wall. Why wouldn't there be? Those guys over there are doing most of the damage on this one to us. Who dares? Oh, you. see what's happening over there. There we go. Fucking invisible walls, man. I wanted to, like, jump over and over that way. Then again, there is a break in the wall, so none of that. Alright, we need to check if any of them fell in there. No. We lose a hundred guys, but this gets rid of a faction again. What? Really? Really, game? Yeah, I think this is the better one than we got. Did I lose a bunch of companion companions? Sure looks like it. Wait. Yeah, this is a better one. There we go. I mean, 0.15 percent, or whatever the fuck that means, it's not much, but eh. I'm still not sure about the banners. Okay, that should piece them out. 
course, that shit is being besieged. There's no way we're gonna make it over there. This is rebelling. I might as well go take care of that. No, 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 don't you dare. There we go. Hmm. And I might just actually be taking stuff for myself so I can give it to the um, clans that don't have a lot of land. Can we see that here? Yeah, thieves. Yeah, just give it... Not to this guy. This guy I persuaded to join me. And then he proceeded to make a fraction. Or abdication faction. In the settle... In the faction. In the... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Fraction, faction in the faction. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Parlay already. You don't ever see anyone tear down the walls of a castle either. Or a city. Or siege it outright. Peace with the Carthaginians, sure. Fuck them. They're already beaten. And accept them surrendering. Know that they asked for. Uh, they would give me money so I can so I leave them alone, basically. If you get another conversation with them, then they're gonna surrender. The first one usually is uh, them giving you money to leave them alone. Then the game doesn't allow you to actually attack them for a, for a certain amount of time, or the, the exact party or the exact city. Which I do sometimes fuck up and click, uh, click, accept that, you know. Now yeah, let's attack. We no bitches. We do this the hard way. Do I have control over the units? I do, but... Oh god. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Look at this shit. Both the infantry and the skirmishers are in the same thing. Let's see if you can split them off. You toggle, transfer, half. Let's see what happens. Okay, one is mostly archers. Trans... No. Toggle... Trans... Wrong thing again. Toggle... Transfer... Half of them here. Okay, that kind of worked. Kind of a... Wait. Did I just lose control of some of them? Okay, no, we're good. Let's come for a bit, then we're gonna do some... Then we're gonna attack them. Because the formations are fucked up.
Hmm, modded. Yeah, I think I was doing that before. I just put modded in on the... Uh, on the tags. Modded. Maybe like add the Eagle Rising as a mod as well. Yeah, that would, yeah there, there's people already making that uh, tank. Like Roman team and Roman team teamed and all that. If you refresh now, it should show up, I think. Yeah, modern mods, Eagle Rising. Yeah, now it shows up. I focus more on YouTube because I am multi streaming to YouTube as well. So that's why I'm like, you know, maybe miss out on that. There's a lot of people not speaking English on the Banalord directory at the moment on Twitch. Okay, it looks like our archers did pretty much all we can do. How the hell did I get the sk skill point in scouting in the siege battle? I have no fucking clue. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try and do that next time, like, you know, put all the, um, you know, imported bits, like, mod and modded in, then, like, maybe the rising for which mod it is, you know, like, horse, horse masters or whatever for the city and deal, stuff like that. Next, uh, I think after this playthrough, which I'm basically gonna do unless we're until we're literally just way stronger than everyone else which we're pretty much are at this point so maybe a couple of streams more of this then i'm gonna i'm thinking of doing like a varangian guard themed playthrough like where i'm gonna maybe add some mods that change the factions like uh, if the burning empire's mod updates gets an update i'm gonna do that then we're gonna be a surgeon and have like a elite surgeon party just being a mercenary and going around following the uh, one of the empire's lords or emperors i should say with filled stacks so there's less enemies less party less troops in the parties and all that have that as, a, as an idea i might even do the companion only in that if you figure out how to do it exactly so having like 20 elite companions just moving around helping out you know fighting for the king would be a cool idea a cool playthrough what's the hold up oh i see Sort of. <laughs> the, the goddamn scooter, it's too big. Optio for sure, or such it. I 
uh, you can't really get them off. Like, you can go on YouTube and watch this playthrough. I did that. I did the abdication. But I think the problem was I wasn't, like, high enough clan level. I was clan level 3. So, um, I'll show, show you who got the seat or the throne. In a second. Yeah, I did that. I fought my own faction. Okay, I will take this and give it to someone else. Yeah, so firstly, I did I did create a faction for abdication. I managed to get enough people in there. We fought that. One, and she got the throne. When we finished that. Then... Since I was pissed off because of that, I just messed uh, around with the settings for the Diplomacy mod. To get another rebellion started. You just put, you know, put this up as high as possible. No, I don't think, I don't think it's in this mod. As of now. I mean, there is no option for it at least. Influential enough. Gives the player total control over their kingdoms of war, peace, the declarations. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, there, it's not in the options, that's for sure. You can always marry his daughter or try and get the king killed. Yeah. I have no sure why that I have no clue why that preset changes but everything else stays the same. You can basically enter every battle and just shoot the king in the head. Because at some point I think even if you are friendly, it's it it will kill him at some point, I believe. And I do have another idea how to get more viewers on Twitch, right? Just add the LGBTQ whatever the fuck out uh, tags as you usually worked <laughs> and piss everybody off the bastards took it from us okay, they took this it looks like they're gonna take this as well if I didn't do anything about it but since we are here, clan which has the least fiefs. Maybe I should, I should leave some defenders in there. Nah. Nah, fuck it. That's what. I didn't want to click that. Of course, there's no one there. Cause bugs and crashes. I could see that happening. in this one as well like you know losing control over troops death what you saw like only two groups existing with both the archers and they've treated the same ones or something else like yeah the um, notice the scutum and where it ends up
this is for every unit that has a Scutum, or not Scutum, Gladius. Yeah. Yeah, from the Balkans, yes. There in time. There's only 300 of them. Where the hell are the rest of our armies? Apparently, they got wrecked by something. We should just stay here and try and bait all of them to attack us. Never mind. We're gonna run into a. F oh god. It's like let them. No. I'm gonna come through here. Like, it would be nice to snipe and maybe not in a. in between the mountains. That would be painful. Ah. Look, it worked like a charm. <laughs> ah, fuck. Wait. They're besieging the settlement. What the fuck? Oh, this is not ideal. At least we do our number, I'm kind of. A little bit. How the fuck? I can't even place him up there, but they did end up up there. And he starts to see just the AI is dumb. Pretty fucking dumb. And we have uh, friendly troops that are going to attack the enemy, of course. Okay, I got to make sure I don't... Okay. to get them off the hill somehow. It seems like that place for horse lodges. No, not at all. In fact, I've done this a couple of times. <laughs> See, the trick is not using your horse arches as horse arches. You just use them as regular arches that can move around a little bit faster. It works like a charm. Even like literally out maneuver all of them. No, it's not a mod, I'm just playing the music. Well, I just took a peel him to the leg or something. I uh, like the in game music, is just absolute trash. Like, half the time, it doesn't even play. 
Doesn't, I mean, it's good music, but like, still, I kind of want this, you know, music to constantly be in the game or playing. Okay, now they're starting the bunch. Our green, our, our allies are gonna die. So dynam dynamically. This map, uh, the enemies don't come from like the back or the sides or anything. Yeah, they change it on the start of the battle. They like come off the like edge of the map, where you can't even go because there's an invisible wall, of course. The infamous invisible walls. For instance, I changed the soundtrack down. What you looking at? What? All oh, right. The standard can actually block for whatever reason. Or whatever that's called, I forget. Okay, that's not good. Don't get good. Ignore the archers, please. And I got wrecked while doing that, of course. Because our infantry is also Romans, we should should be good. Well, my uh, infantry is at least Romans. You yeah, look at that, they're spawning and dropping from the mountains apparently, from the hills. And again, so are our reinforcements. This is also an issue, like... It's at the point, the AI just... Just... Puts off the horse archers into... Cavana horse archers, so 